Hey guys, welcome back to another hardware news episode. And we should do this more often, so here we go. Let's kick things off with Intel. 14 gen leaks. This is actually huge. That's what she said. <laughs> this is one of the biggest changes we've seen in the past few years, especially on the entry and medium level users. And that's a bold statement. Considering the fact that i3s are 8 cores or were 8 cores, now i3s now will be 6 performance cores with no more efficiency code. Base variants of i5 will be 6 performance cores with 600 series variants having access to 8 efficiency cores as well. That's 16 cores on an i5. If you track that to the last generation, the base 12th gen i5 had just 6 cores. Entry level users can rejoice because accessibility to good and better hardware is rapidly advancing. Now let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. i3 is no longer the 4 core CPU and i5 is no longer a 6 core CPU. i5, i7, i9 each have 8 performance cores. The efficiency cores will vary from 8, 12 and 16. So you have flexibility depending on your use case intensity. And the response from AMD should also be on the horizon. Speaking of AMD, AMD has released their first non-GPU in integrated CPU in the 7000 series lineup, it's called 7500F. Now, according to leaks, it's outperforming the 7600X for multi-threaded workloads. And even though they have 6 cores and 12 threads, but get this, it's capped at 65 watts of TDP, about half of what the 7600X does. But here's another but, it's exclusive to the Chinese market. From Germany, Joker to China. They might be releasing a Ryzen 3 for desktop very soon. They've been available on laptops for a while, and 5600X and 3000 series processors are the only affordable alternatives to 7000 series. The newest or the newer 4060 Ti is coming soon. Not available in India yet, but we will keep you posted. There's not a lot of changes on the new new RTX 4060 Ti. It's just going to be 16 GB instead of 8, and probably the price will be close to 50-52K. We can assume that the AIB cards should also be around the same range. No performance leaks or units have been handed out up until now. So let's see when we get it. Now, while we are on Team Green, you might want to know that they have delayed the next gen of GPUs called Ada Loveless Next. Yeah, we know. This is most likely because Nvidia is trying to work on both gamer-friendly SQs while also catering to AI and ML needs. Nvidia did promise that they're focusing on getting gamers better cards. So yeah, it's gonna be here for a while. If they were refresh, it's most likely to be announced in 2025 instead of 2024. So yeah, they kind of stuck with the 4000 series for another two years. And if you're stuck and confused building your PC, get in touch with us. We build and ship custom computers for every possible use case. Our retail stores are active in Hyderabad, Kudgaon, and Bangalore. Drop by or just call our toll free. Kitna, 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 I wings.